Hi, Mike. How are you, Tom? Good. How are you doing? Uh, you like the hat? Thank you. Is that a Cam Newton? No, what do you think? I, I, of course, Reese likes it. Get the first picture coming. Yeah? Well, you weren't standing out there. You weren't. You had, you had that one at the Derby, right? Different no. one. Different. different one. Yeah. Cam Newton special? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got that. similar style. There you go. He wears a little better. There you go. Um, of, of all the plays tonight, the one I wanted to ask you was at the start of the second quarter, third and three, and um, your Madden speed rating, obviously, uh, showing up there with the yeah. three-yard run. Take us through that play, if you will. Yeah, they played a um, – it was on defense and tried to work underneath, underneath pass there to Jacoby, and there was not much space. So I usually don't uh, get too many yards. So third and short, I can usually make a couple of those. But if I can make one of those a game, I think that would be good for our team. They're going to do that. But there's a lot to do. I mean, I think that was, um, you know, there was a lot of good things. There's obviously a lot of things that we need to do to, to clean up. A lot of long yardage situations, too many penalties. Um, yeah, we got to get back to work. Tom, just, I was going to say your overall thoughts on the offense, especially some of the younger receivers kind of stepping in uh, to that role. What are your thoughts on them overall tonight? Yeah, we've got, you know, I think those guys are all working really hard. Um, they played a lot of football this preseason. Um, you know, they really haven't had many veteran guys out there to show them the way. Um, so they've just been kind of learning on the fly, but proud of the way they competed. And, um, you know, we're just going to keep working together. And uh, we've got one more game to go. And then we'll see what happens after that. Tom, was that skinny post to Jacoby on third down? Is that kind of like a learning process type of thing uh, for him? Yeah, he had. Um, yeah, I mean, there's. I, th I think for all of us, you know, you you play with guys that are maybe new to the offense and and so forth. And sometimes, you know, they think they're not part of the route, and then the team plays a certain coverage, and they're part of the route. And um, you know, that's part of, you know, early in the season, that's part of this time of year. They're, you're, you're, you know, we don't have, you know, the full week to prepare. We don't have, you know, we're kind of putting things together on the fly. So, um, yeah, those are, those are learning moments for all of us. And, um, you know, again, I think the most important part is to get in there, get to work, see what you need to do, see how you feel out there, you know, real live action, and then get back to work as quickly as you can, try to make some improvements. Hey, Tom, uh, I know the first two games you were really itching to get out there and say you finally got some action, yeah. but does your mentality change at all when you see so many of your teammates go down with injuries today? What's that like seeing guys get hurt in kind of a meaningless game, you know? Yeah, that's, it's always hard to see, and we've had our fair share over, you know, a lot of years of watching, um, you know, these games being a part of these games, you know, guys that, um, you know, you, you, you think are going to be, you know, play a big role over the course of the year, and then, and then it, you know, in one play, it, it doesn't happen that way. So um, it, it happens in the regular season, too. I mean, I think this is a contact sport, and it's a physical sport, and injuries are certainly a part of the game. And, um, you know, other guys are going to have to step in and, and, and fill big roles. Karen Hi, Karen. Nice hat. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you seem to find Philip Dorsett quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, was a lot of that uh, a matter of familiarity or him, or him getting open? Yeah, I think both. And I think that it's, you know, Philip is a guy that I play a lot of football with. So I have a lot of trust. And again, when you don't have the full, you know, experience is, is, is a great thing in football if you use it well. And I think, you know, our experience together, you know, pays off. I read his body language. Um, you know, I think the great thing about Phil, he takes advantage of his opportunities. And, you know, a lot of guys have been injured this preseason. Phil plays all three wide receiver positions. Um, remembers all the coaching points from all the times we've, we've talked about certain things, even though he may not have done it. He goes in there and does it the way that, you know, coach wants it done. So um, I love playing with Phil. He's been a great contributor to our team, and, and uh, he had a great night. Uh, the Eric Reed hit on Ben Watson. Uh, uh, not too long ago, uh, Rob Gronkowski uh, received a one-game suspension on a similar play and a hit on a play on the ground. Do you think Eric Reed should face a similar punishment for the hit tonight? I didn't even see the play, so... Yeah. I, what was the velocity on that throw that you delivered to Ryan Izzo? That had to be close to 60. I had heat on that. Um, it's nice when you can be decisive and make a good decisive throw. So for me, anticipation and decisiveness are so important. That comes from experience and trust. So 
when guys are in those spots, you feel like you can cut it loose because you know you have all the decisiveness to to do that. So that was a good throw, and I got to make a lot of those this year. And uh, you know that's what I've been working hard to do, and the team expects me to make all the all the throws that are there. So that was a good play. Ryan made a great catch. Tom, you got to play um, behind Isaiah Wynn a little bit yep. tonight. What have you seen as, as he's come back, and, and do you have trust or faith? What do you think that he can protect your left side there? Yeah, he's, you know, I think he's taking advantage of his opportunity, and, you know, I think everyone expects him to, to be a, a, you know, a high performer for our team. And um, he's getting opportunities, and he's got to have to, he's got to take advantage of them. So, you know, nobody's out there playing perfect tonight, but. Um, I'm sure, you know, I, we've all got a long way to go. He does, I do. But we, we, we got to get out there and practice and get, you know, a lot of guys back in there and, and find some rhythm. Two final questions in the front row. Tom, I'm a reporter from Denmark. I know you weren't on the field with Yelde Frohl tonight, but throughout the preseason and, and, and throughout camp, can you talk about what you've seen from Yelde and how he's gelled with the team? Absolutely. He's done a, a great job. And, um, you know, they're really well coached. That whole group of offensive linemen, um, you know, Dante's not, he's a very demanding coach. He's not, I would say, the easiest coach to play for, but Yelts done a great job. And, uh, you know, he's fighting and competing every day. He's been out there, tough, durable. And, uh, you know, he's played a little center, played a little guard, and uh, he's done a good job. Tom, just just to finish with the the run we, we started with. Yep. I know you've talked in the past about just the f the footwork and keeping plays alive. Like, how important is it for you just in your first game action to just show that that's still there for you? You know, going into another season. Yeah, it's 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 got to be, and um, you know, I think those are important plays. So, to get a to get a first down conversion on me scrambling, I'm sure the defense coordinator is like, "What the heck? You know, this is not. You know, we got to stop Edelman. We got to stop White. We got to stop the run game. We got to stop. You know." these great players and all of a sudden Brady for a scramble, that's, that's got to piss him off pretty good. So I, I, I revel in that. And um, hopefully I can do that, you know, once a game, I think I'd be good with that. And if they give me the opportunity, I'll take it. It's just, I don't think it'd be much more than four or five yards. So thank you guys. Thanks, Appreciate Tom. it.